Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of Dwarf Talks. I am here today to talk to you about the recent character test we did. So a bunch of you may have noticed in the Discord server that we did a bunch of different tests, uh, progression tests, US server tests, uh, character tests. Uh, I think there was like six or seven different tests. I'm going to show you some of the results and some of the tweaks and so on that we were able to do based on the feedback that you gave us. So a huge thanks for, for that. What I'll show you now is the uh, immediate overview of some of the main changes that we are doing because of that. First off, there's like some general notes here uh, and actions. We wanted to see that every character in the game had somebody that really, really liked them. And the only one that didn't have like a super lover was the Weird Seeker. However, there was one person who rated it seven out of seven on gameplay, and this person did not rate the others. Uh, any of the other seven so that is what we like uh, that somebody really loves a character if there's nobody who really loves it we'll probably try to tune it uh, or uh, remake it until that happens so so far i believe we are in a good enough state here because every character has more or less a lover so that's good the overall other finding here on the general scores that you made in the survey is that it, there's not there's not an attribute here that's horrible like overall the gameplay uh, ratings are pretty high on all characters the balance are decent uh, for now and the uh, visuals are also decent the only score that was pretty low consistently is customizability so that means um the the the, the path so to say of how your characters scale um and kind of the build dreams that you could have for them so we are definitely going to make another iteration on that but we should also keep in mind we should keep in mind that you did not have access to a lot of perks for this test and you didn't uh, have the time to really progress on finding items yet i still think we should action on this um you can see you if you had a, a lot more uh, character perks available you would be able to to change your characters play styles even more However, let's check the scaling paths in a, in a future iteration of the game. So there was a few comments on the lock camera, but also most of the commenters here actually said that they got used to it. So uh, we will uh, pay a bit of attention to this. Uh, but so far we feel like the extraction part is, uh, is most fitted to a lock camera. And it's also more uh, console friendly because we want to move to consoles with the game as well. There's also uh, mentions of uh, fairly long descriptions uh, in uh, the ability texts, but I would say that if we go to, uh, to a lol character, it would be uh, pretty normal to see this uh, big amount of text as well. But if you feel consistent, consistently that this is, this is too much text, uh, let us know and we will potentially consider uh, League of Legends or Diablo's uh, hold down a key to uh, to get the more advanced view and a, and a simplified text here. Curio, let's move on to the specific notes on each character. So we're going to start with the lightning caller first. Uh, it is uh, it is this guy. Um, the main um, feedback here was that his attack. Uh, speed on his basic attack basically the casting time was too high and we have uh, reduced that so uh, he now does his attack animation uh, quite a lot quicker um, and hopefully that should resolve a bit of that clunkiness we did detect that it was a little bit behind the other characters so much appreciated with that feedback um, then we have that the uh, abilities E and R uh, feels a bit visually underwhelming and we will likely action that after the October test here. Then we have the Würtseeker and let me remind you who that is. It is this uh, girl here. Some of the feedback here was that um, there was a bug uh, that some of you found where she actually added some bleed damage on her basic attack. This is a perk that she can get, but it was applied in a way where it, it happened anyway. Uh, so thanks a lot for, for finding that issue. It's fixed. Uh, the, the range of her basic attack was criticized, um, meaning that it was a little bit too short. Now what you're looking at here is the increase. So she now is able to hit at the end of her um, attack here. So hopefully that should help a lot uh, and it won't force you to push around the enemies when you attack them. Then we have that her E ability was too hard to get value from and I really like this tweak. Um, so let me show you that. Basically it means that if you were attacking an, a swarmer 
and you want it to use your E, which basically gives you a lot of attack speed um, and it increases the duration of it uh, for each successful attack during the buff. Problem is that the attack speed was kind of not uh, high enough to actually pull in a lot of attacks when uh, you had the, uh, the windowed opportunity to do that. So let me demonstrate now here that when it jumps towards me, I can actually pull off most of my attacks here because we've tuned the attack speed so much. So I utilize most of my buff there, and that is because the attack speed is now much, much higher. Um, however, we also nerfed the duration, so uh, it is going to last shorter and therefore should be uh, uh, attaining some balance there. Furthermore, you suggested that we overall made the um, basic attack of her a bit different than the hard guard, and so that we have actually nerfed her damage and increased her base attack speed. I think those suggestions were really, really cool and uh, much appreciated. And that's uh, it for the Würtseeger. Let's go to the uh, Warden. Um, that is mainly about the V dashback, uh, her V ability. Mm, let's show her. She is here. And when she does this, it is a little bit clunky how she, she moves. We also want to animate this and she's stuck a little bit uh, of time after she does the knockback. So that's some micro tuning there that we will look into. Um, so thanks a lot for that feedback, but it might not uh, get in there for this test. We are going to make an effort though, so maybe it will. Now let's move to the druid. Um, there was a, a very cool suggestion here of making her plants um, let me show you that making her plants have a counter so that opponents could actually step on them. I guess that's a little bit like Dr. Mundo in League of Legends, where you can like uh, disassemble the bolt if you step on it. And uh, that's pretty cool, a pretty cool idea. And it could justify increasing the damage on them uh, because there's now a counter. And that will not be made for this test, but we are likely going to try to experiment with it for the uh, test after that. So I just wanted to. Compliment and uh, with that full screen, compliment that you uh, made that suggestion and all the others as well. So, um, finally, there's the hard guard. Uh, it got probably, yeah, the lightning call actually got the best ratings, uh, both some of the highest scores and an overall really high average. And right behind it was hard guard. Hard guard. There was one person who really didn't like it and rated it really low. If that had not been there, it probably would have been the number one. But it's cool to see that overall uh, a lot of the characters are enjoyed. Um, but the interesting thing here is that uh, the customizability overall was really uh, considered low. Um, but uh, for this particular character, it actually had pretty much a higher customizability rating overall. So maybe we'll be inspired by how this character is structured and do more of that. I should uh, mention here that you should definitely go here to the event and sign up so that you get a reminder for the uh, October 5th test. Uh, it's going to run for five days, so it's going to be super exciting and hope to see a lot of you there. I will definitely be on the battlefield and hopefully I won't get uh, smashed by some of, the, some of the people here in the progression test who has been playing for <laughs> a long time. So uh, we will probably see some pros already. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.